From alternative milks to low milk prices, it's been a rough few years for the dairy industry. And the only way for small Michigan farmers to stay afloat? Evolve with the times. 13 On Your Side's Emma Nicholas spoke with a Lowell dairy farmer about how she's surviving the down cycle. That's just, it's a joy. It's a joy for me every day to, to come out and see uh, my cows, my girls. Renee McCauley grew up on this farm. She tried working in other industries first. But I knew that my heart was with uh, taking care of cows, so that's why my husband and I returned to my family's farm. McCauley is now in the process of taking over the farm, which has meant making tough calls to stay open. They recently had to downsize by 50 cows. A dairy farmers are resilient. Um, we work in an economy that is, is always changing and we're always facing challenges. In Michigan, the challenge has been finding places to buy all the milk. McCauley works with a statewide co-op to make sure that happens. Despite the lower consumption levels of milk, consumers are actually buying more dairy products. And that's exciting to see that it's everybody's rallying to find out different ways and, and it's, it's getting welcomed by the consumers and that's the cool thing. While the way that small farmers sell their dairy, along with the products it's used to create, has changed, McCauley says the way they treat their animals has not. And that's what I really want consumers to know is that even if we're facing challenges, that our focus as dairy farmers, we are dairy farmers because of our passion and drive we have for caring for cows. And that's where our focus is, and, and that hasn't changed. In Lowell, Emma Nicholas, 13 on your side.